This conversation with Dr. Stephen Wolfram explores deep and wide-ranging questions about reality, perception, consciousness, free will, biology, physics, and the possibility of alien intelligence. Wolfram draws on his decades of work in computational science and theoretical physics to illuminate how the universe is fundamentally computational in nature and how this shapes our understanding of everything from the foundations of the cosmos to human experience and even speculative phenomena like telepathy and time travel. Dr. Wolfram explains that the universe can be understood as running on extremely simple computational rules that generate immense complexity. His discovery of computational irreducibility reveals that even if one knows the exact underlying rules, one cannot shortcut or predict the full outcome without running each computational step. This means complex systems, including brains, cannot be fully predicted or reduced to easy explanations. Simple programs can produce highly complicated behavior, and this principle applies to physical reality, biology, evolution, and minds alike. The idea challenges traditional reductionist science, demonstrating that knowing the rules does not always translate to knowing the results in advance. Wolfram outlines a radical view of physical reality where space itself is discrete, made up of fundamental atoms or points connected in an enormous network. These atoms of space evolve through rule-based computations, generating what we experience as time and physical processes. This discrete network underlies the continuous sensation of space and time we observe at larger scales. Unlike early 20th century attempts, Wolfram's models offer a mathematically viable framework for discrete space, connecting it to known physics, including gravity and space-time geometry. Our perception of the universe emerges from this vast but principled computational underpinning. Reality, according to Wolfram, is intricately tied to perception. While an external computational object, called the Rulial universe, runs all possible computations, what each mind perceives is shaped by that mind's particular position within this computational multiverse. Different minds perceive different threads of time or histories, and even among humans, perceptions vary, such as in cases of colorblindness, highlighting the subjective nature of experience. Objective reality exists only relative to the observer's structure and sensory apparatus, meaning different beings could perceive vastly different physical laws or dimensions. Consciousness arises as a form of computation that compresses large sensory inputs into actionable decisions, forming a thread of experience. Free will, Wolfram argues, is not an illusion but a natural consequence of computational irreducibility. Even if we know the rules governing a system, we cannot predict exactly what steps it will take without simulating each one. Minds like ours are specialized computational entities that integrate sensory data and concentrate it toward decisions or actions. While many physical systems exhibit mind-like computation to some degree, human consciousness is distinct in how it aggregates and focuses these inputs. Biology resists simple reductionist explanations because living systems exhibit immense complexity, often organized for computationally simple purposes that nonetheless yield unpredictable macroscopic outcomes. Evolution works by exploring a coarse fitness landscape where small genetic changes can have disproportionately large effects due to computational complexity. Medicine faces fundamental challenges because organisms are tightly integrated systems. Altering one part often disrupts others unpredictably. This complexity explains the difficulty in finding straightforward cures for many diseases and underpins the limitations of current pharmaceutical approaches. Humans perceive the world through sensory inputs shaped by biology, which limits what reality can be directly accessed. However, scientific instruments extend perception beyond natural capabilities, revealing phenomena otherwise invisible, such as X-rays or electromagnetic signals. Traditions and individuals report additional sensory realms, often described as spiritual or extrasensory perceptions. Wolfram suggests that long-standing beliefs in such phenomena may have more substance than assumed, though science has yet to fully formalize or explain them. The broader computational universe inherently contains more information and possibilities than our limited senses detect. Language serves as a crucial tool to externalize internal thoughts, packaging complex computational states in ways others can understand. The construction of languages, 
human or computational, greatly affects how we can conceptualize and communicate. Wolfram emphasizes that while human languages are surprisingly simple in structure compared to computation, they provide a powerful way to share ideas. However, internal subjective sensations like tastes or feelings can be difficult or impossible to fully externalize, which challenges collective understanding of personal experience. Telepathy and other claimed phenomena like remote viewing occupy a complex place between skepticism and open inquiry. Wolfram acknowledges that while science demands reproducibility in controlled experiments, some reported abilities might escape current paradigms or rely on mechanisms not yet understood. Phenomena such as animals sensing magnetic fields indicate that biological systems can possess sensory capabilities humans do not. He cautions against outright dismissal of such claims, proposing that reality may include aspects beyond current scientific grasp, complicated by challenges in externalizing and corroborating private experiences. Wolfram firmly believes that alien intelligences exist widely in the universe, though most will be drastically different from human minds. He frames this difference in rule space, the vast landscape of possible computational rules, where alien minds may operate under different physics or dimensions. The distance between human cognition and alien cognition is enormous, making communication a tremendous challenge. Using AI as a test case, Wolfram illustrates how changing neural network parameters can lead to increasingly alien outputs. Language and concepts that humans understand represent tiny islands in a vast conceptual ocean that alien intelligences may inhabit. Contrary to everyday experience, time is not a single linear thread, but many branching and merging threads, as quantum mechanics suggests. Human consciousness perceives a single aggregated thread, but more complex beings or quantum systems might access multiple threads simultaneously. Wolfram introduces the notion of subtime, the very fine-grained individual computational updates underlying perceived time. Time is defined by changes in the state of the universe. If the universe returns to an identical state, no time perceptibly elapses. The perception of time depends fundamentally on the observer and their capacity to track change. Dr. Wolfram was a science consultant on Arrival, a film that creatively explores alien communication and nonlinear time. He contributed actual computational code that was used in the movie to generate alien symbols, underscoring his lifelong interest in language and computation. The film's themes resonate with Wolfram's views on language shaping perception and consciousness spanning multiple timelines. Arrival exemplifies how communication and understanding across alien contexts might require going beyond familiar concepts of time and language. Wolfram expresses openness to integrating scientific and spiritual perspectives without rigid dismissal. While science has historically excluded questions of consciousness or free will as metaphysical, advances in computational theory now enable scientific dialogue about these subjects. He urges more open-mindedness in exploring phenomena traditionally considered spiritual, underlining the importance of new languages and frameworks to bridge subjective experience and objective understanding. Dr. Wolfram acknowledges that the traditional scientific method, with its emphasis on reductionism and repeatability, has limitations, especially in complex fields like biology and medicine. Systems biology, immune response, and mental health involve nonlinear interactions that defy purely mechanical explanations. The future requires new conceptual tools and computational frameworks able to model these complexities and embrace irreducibility. Advances in AI and computational modeling hold promise to unlock new insights, but scaling this to personalized medicine remains a profound challenge. Language shapes thought, and Wolfram highlights that humans could potentially think at far higher levels of abstraction if equipped with larger brains or different computational architectures. Current languages are relatively simple compared to the complexity possible in computational languages. This raises questions about what new cognitive abilities or perceptions might emerge if human brains were scaled up or interfaced more directly with computational systems. The evolution of language and cognition is ongoing and profoundly linked to how we understand and shape reality. The conversation touches on the deep challenge of communicating subjective internal states. 
While faces, gestures, and language make some communication possible, full externalization of private experience remains impossible. Telepathy, if it exists, would bypass language but faces huge obstacles in encoding, transmitting, and decoding complex neural information. Wolfram points out that even direct brain-to-brain -brain connections would be difficult because brains have different architectures and codes. He underscores the uniqueness and non-triviality of human language as a vehicle for shared understanding. AI provides a useful experimental model for understanding alien minds. Neural nets trained to perform specific tasks produce outputs aligned with human expectations but become alien as their parameters shift. This demonstrates how minds operating on similar computational substrates can diverge dramatically due to architectural differences. Wolfram's concept of interconcept space describes vast domains of concepts generated by alien or machine minds that elude human comprehension or language. This informs the challenge of extraterrestrial communication and transcending human perspectives. Free will is reframed as the unpredictability resulting from computational irreducibility rather than a metaphysical freedom from causation. Because complex systems cannot be shortcut in predicting their behavior, their, their outputs appear free rather than predetermined. Wolfram emphasizes that free will is ubiquitous in natural systems exhibiting complex computation. This demystifies free will as an emergent feature stemming from inherent computational limitations rather than supernatural causes. Different beings, biological or artificial, may sense fundamentally different dimensions, laws, or variables beyond human perception. Wolfram articulates that alien minds might experience universes of one dimension, infinite dimension, or governed by unfamiliar laws of physics. Similarly, humans have only been able to extend their senses with technology. The potential for expanded perception suggests a universe much richer and stranger than our everyday experience. The conversation addresses how medicine struggles with the computational complexity and integration found in biological systems. From autoimmune diseases to brain function, the nonlinear interplay defies neat cause and effect explanations. Wolfram highlights that unlike physics, biology has resisted unified theoretical frameworks. He proposes that understanding these systems requires computation-based models embracing irreducibility, reflecting the messy, interconnected reality of living matter. The idea of time as a multidimensional plenum rather than linear flow is discussed with references to relativity and quantum mechanics. Consciousness perceives time as a succession of events, but deeper computational processes may feature branching timelines or loops. Psychedelic experiences and advanced physics sometimes hint at time's fluid and undulating nature, a perspective that challenges everyday intuitions but aligns well with Wolfram's computational universe model. Throughout the discussion, Wolfram balances scientific rigor with openness to mystery. He acknowledges the limits of current understanding and the potential for future computational paradigms to deepen insight into consciousness, biology, and the universe. His work and thinking invite embracing complexity, recognizing subjective experiences, and exploring new conceptual languages to bridge the divide between what the universe is and what humans can perceive or describe.